What's up guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I wanted to share my thoughts and experiences that I've had with the Galaxy Note 2. Now I've been using this phone as my daily driver for well basically since October when it first came out in the US and you know that alone should tell you what my overall opinion of the phone is especially when you consider how many phones I get to work and play with on a daily basis in this line of work but I'm still using it as my daily driver today and you know I'm going to be changing it very soon actually which I'll tell you about in the next video but for now I want to share with you guys you know what it's been like for me living with the Galaxy Note 2 so let's go ahead and get right into it so there are so many things that really make you know having the Galaxy Note 2 a unique experience but out of all of them I'd say the one that really stands out to me is how many people have come up to me and asked, you know, oh, what kind of phone is that? Or, hey, is that the new Galaxy? I've even had a couple of people come up to me and ask, is that the iPad mini? Now, regardless of what people ask me, the thing is, people are really curious about the phone. I mean, I've never had a phone get so much attention. And, you know, for those of you guys who are a little bit shy, I think it could be a good conversation starter. But, obviously, the phone gets so much attention because the thing is huge. I mean, this is one big phone. Now, for some people, that alone could be a deal breaker. In fact, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you know, I could never use a phone that big. You know, I like it, but it's just too big. And I can see why some people would say that. For example, if you have smaller hands, it could be an issue. I mean, it is a big phone, and reaching across the screen can be really, really hard. You know, as it is, if you have smaller than average hands, it might be a deal breaker. And it doesn't really have to do with just your hand size. It can do with your clothing, too. For example, I know a lot of girls out there, you know, who say, you know, oh, I'd really like to use that phone, but it's just too big to fit in my pocket. And it's not just a girl thing, by the way. It could be, you know, with for a guy too, if you wear tighter clothes or if you have uh, clothes with smaller pockets. But definitely is an issue if it doesn't fit in your pocket. You know, if you're a girl, maybe you can put it in your purse, but I don't know how convenient that would be. But if the size isn't an issue for you, or if you can just get over it, which, you know, I'm telling you, once you use the phone for about a week or two, you really do start getting used to it. And you know, when you go back to another phone, the other phones will actually feel small and feel like it's smaller than it should be. But anyways, when people ask me, you know, why I use the Note 2 over all the other smartphones that I have, I tell them, you know, two things. Well, yeah, more than two things usually, but two main things. One is the fact that the battery on this thing is amazing. I mean, with a big phone comes a big battery. It's a 3100 milliamp battery, and I don't ever have to worry about this thing dying on me. And you know, with some of my other smartphones, you know, I would either have it die on me or be worried about it dying on me uh, by the end of the night. And with this thing, it can have like 45% battery at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I won't really have to worry about it, which, you know, it's really nice. I'm a heavy user and that's something that I definitely, definitely, you know, appreciate in the phone. Now, the second thing is probably the more obvious one and that's the big screen. I mean, having a big screen like that is really awesome. Obviously, it could be a drawback but it could be a huge, literally, benefit in the 5.5 inch HD screen. Watching, you know, videos or browsing the web on a screen this big is just, you know, better than anything you could have on, you know, a phone with a smaller screen size. Because, this, for example, if you're watching a YouTube video, like this one, for example, and you want to watch it with a friend or a family member, you know, you can just kind of gather around the phone and everybody will be able to see what's going on on the screen. Where if you have a smaller screen size, it's a little bit hard and uh, thankfully, the speaker in here is actually good too, so it only adds to that experience. Now, besides the battery and the screen size, you know, there's probably a dozen other features that I really like, but if I were to go into them all, the video would be way too long. So the main one I want to cover is TouchWiz. Now, if you follow the channel, you probably, you know, are wondering why I would say that, because I'm generally a fan of the pure Android experience, but I feel like Samsung really added some value with TouchWiz on the Note 2. Uh, there's certain features that I really appreciate and you know the top ones I'd say is one is the messaging app. Uh, the messaging app I really like because it gives you the option to schedule future text messages. So for example, it's really really great for sending a text message on someone's birthday at midnight. Uh, another thing is the alert repetition which is really good for me at least because sometimes when I get a text I don't check it right away and then I end up forgetting to check it later because the phone's just in my pocket and uh, with this alert repetition It'll basically, you know, do the same notification, you know, at a set interval, which I, I think I have mine on 10 minutes. Basically, every 10 minutes, it'll vibrate and, you know, make my ringtone or sound my ringtone and, until I actually go in and check it. 
and it ensures that I don't miss text messages, which is great because I've missed a lot of text messages in the past. Speaking of alerts, another feature that I really like is the Smart Alert feature. So for example, with Smart Alert, if you have your phone just sitting down on a desk and you want to pick it up and go, what it does is if you have an unread text message, it will actually vibrate. So there's no need to actually look at the screen and you know, turn it on every time you, check, uh, you pick up your phone or you don't have to sit there and wait for the LED notification light to come on, which you know, I found to be really convenient. I can pick up my phone, throw it in my pocket. If I don't feel it, it vibrate at all, if it does vibrate, I'll check it. You know, I don't have to check it every single time, which is a pretty big convenience. And then the other thing I have to say that's among the top of my list for uh, Samsung TouchWiz features is the ability to hide apps. Now, you might say, you know, you could just uninstall an app that you don't need. I mean, if you're going to hide it, you might as well uninstall it. And I kind of get what you're coming from, where you're coming from. But personally, you know, sometimes there's an app I'll use maybe only once a month, but it doesn't necessarily mean I want to delete it off my phone. Being able to hide it, you know, has allowed me to consolidate my app pages to down to two pages which makes it a lot easier to find you know, what I'm looking for in these two pages. And uh, whenever I need the app that I hid, I can just you know, unhide it and it comes right back on. No need to download it again. No need to depend on that data connection, which you know, it's really nice so and really convenient and adds to that great experience. Now, the one feature on here that you know, it's marketed heavily by Samsung is the S Pen. And honestly, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's actually really good. It works really well. It works just like you'd expect it to. But Honestly, I don't use it. I mean, I've had this phone for a couple of months and I think I've used it like two or three times. Uh, two times I used it because I was trying to explain something to somebody and they weren't quite getting me. So I just kind of drew it and, you know, I was able to get that message across really clearly, which is pretty cool. And then the, the one other time was I actually signed a contract on the phone. I was in Las Vegas for CES. I signed a contract on my phone instead of having to, you know, worry about printing it, faxing it, doing it the old school way. Did it all on my phone, pulled the S Pen, did a signature on uh, Acrobat, sent it back via email, and I was done. So really cool. I don't know if that's a feature I'd go out of my way to you know buy a phone for, but having it you know doesn't hurt. And uh, the S Pen doesn't get in the way at all. I mean, if you don't want to use the S Pen, you just leave it in there and you'll never even notice it. Now, I've talked about you know a lot of things that I like about the phone. Obviously, I like it more. There's more things I like about it than I dislike, but I do like to give you know some of the negative features or negative things about a phone in my reviews. And uh, the one thing I'd have to say, you know, I already mentioned is the size. I mean, it is a big phone and it is, it does take some getting used to. And uh, personally, you know, when I, I found that when I've used the phone for an extensive amount of time for like 45 minutes or so or longer, my hands start to get a little bit cramped up. And that might be because I'm on a keyboard all day at work and, you know, might be contributing to that, but I haven't really had it happen with other phones. So definitely something worth mentioning. Um, but other than that, you know, I have to say I'm pretty happy with what Samsung did with the Note 2. I mean, it's got the quad-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, an HD screen that's huge, uh, great 8 megapixel camera, it has LTE, NFC, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, removable battery, a micro SD card slot. So I mean, it has pretty much everything that I'd want in a phone. Maybe the only thing I'd say other than the size that is a drawback is the uh, plastic design. Not really, you know, I've never been one to really complain about Samsung's plasticky designs and at this point they're kind of known for it but I dropped my phone recently and it got a little scuff mark and it was like from like one foot up I was like on a chair and it fell down on a uh, on cement and it got a scratch which you know some of my other phones even like the iPhone 5 hasn't done that so that's a downside but if you don't really drop your phone not that big of a deal but yeah I mean those two drawbacks are definitely something to consider but I think that the pros heavily outweigh the cons with the Note 2, at least for me personally. Now, that's the thing with phones. It really comes down to personal preference and you know it matters what's important to you. If the size is too much for you to deal with, then obviously this isn't the phone for you. But you know, that's not to say that the phone can't be improved too. You know, I'm sure with the Note 3, there's a lot of things that Samsung's gonna be able to do, but that's, it. that's how it is with all technology. I mean, technology moves at such a fast rate that of course there could be an HD screen. I mean, right now this is a 720p screen. There's HD screens, or full HD screens, should I say, as 1080p out. You know, the Galaxy S4 is just around the corner. But the thing about the Note 2, and for example, comparing it to the Galaxy S4 or any of the Galaxy S phones, is that it's a completely different breed of a smartphone. I mean, they're not in the same like segment. The Note 2, you know, offers you that half tablet, half smartphone experience. With the S Pen, you know, if you're one to use it, it really changes the whole dimension of the phone. And, uh, you know, that's something to consider when you look at the Note 2. I mean, you can't really compare it in the same way as you would, you know, the Galaxy S4 and the uh, HC1. 
But that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful or if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more mobile technology videos just like this. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.